The next focal point in my quest to find out why this 300 TD wagon smokes is going to be the turbocharger. You know, I just brought it out of the shop. We checked the delivery timing on the injection pump. It was spot on. I checked the timing marks for the camshaft. They were okay. Valves were okay. So it's now on to the turbocharger and everything related to it. That means I'm going to do a thorough inspection of the overboost circuit and the Alda. I have put this gauge on. See, this, this is our little turbo test kit. And this is a pressure gauge which I'm going to put inside the car and I'm going to go out and drive this car and just see how much boost the turbocharger is producing. Maybe it's not producing any boost at all. Maybe there's something wrong with a wastegate. Maybe there's something wrong with a turbocharger. Maybe it's worn out. I have no idea, but at least putting this gauge on the intake manifold and getting this inside the car and driving it is going to give me some idea how healthy the turbocharger is. I've got a long hose here like this. We've hooked it up to the fitting on the intake manifold. Now I'm going to route the gauge inside the car. The best place to route this hose is right up here in the corner. Usually there's enough gap here. And if there isn't, you may have to adjust the hood. So I'm going to lower the hood down slowly. I'm going to get this hose right in the corner. And let's see if I've got enough slack. Okay, look at that. See, I've got enough slack. You don't want to be pinching off the hose here. You won't get accurate readings on the turbocharger. So now I can take and crack the window down. We'll slide this gauge in like this. I think I'll go ahead and close the hood down. Okay, just double check. Yeah, I still have looseness on that hose. Okay. Now I'm going to get in the car. We're going to hit the road and we're going to find out first whether or not this turbocharger is working. Along with the turbocharger, I'm also a little concerned about the operation of the EGR valve. So those two working improperly can cause weird smoking issues with the diesel engine. But first, I want to just make sure the turbocharger is producing boost pressure. If it's not, then I got to tackle the, the turbo. But if the turbo is working okay, and I'm getting at least, you know, eight or nine PSI of boost under load, then, you know, I can go ahead then and go after the EGR valve and the overboost circuit and the ALDA along with the banjo bolt that can often get plugged that gives positive pressure to the ALDA. This thing doesn't want to accelerate. Look at that. Okay, here comes the gauge. All right. I'm going to stop on it. Okay, watch the gauge going right up to 9 PSI. But I'm not getting any power. The thing feels like I'm dragging an anchor out here. Okay, now when I make this turn, I'm going to go ahead and floor it. And once again, it's just not kicking into gear like a turbocharger should. Okay, it's floored right now. See the delay in which the power comes on? But look at the boost gauge right there. Okay, I'm right at 8. Now I'm going to back it off. And I'm going to floor it. Okay, right up to eight, eight and a half. Okay, so it looks like the turbocharger is producing adequate boost, but why is this engine such a dog? For those of you who have never checked the turbocharger output on your diesel engine, I think you'll find that road test interesting. It's not difficult to do this, by the way, and it really does narrow down the problem rather quickly. For instance, if I would have taken this out on the road, and I would have only seen maybe one or two pounds or zero pounds of boost pressure, then I, I'd know that it was my turbocharger that was causing the lack of power and possibly accelerating the smoking problem that you've seen throughout this series of videos. And of course, if it's boosting more than nine or 10 pounds, then uh, something's wrong with the wastegate. You know, the wastegate is not opening up and you don't want to be over boosting the, the diesel engine, you'll damage it. So this is a real good test. It's something you can do very quickly. My kit comes with complete instructions on how to hook this up to your diesel engine. And I also have a manual that takes you through the process of troubleshooting why you're not getting enough boost, including opening up the wastegate and adjusting the wastegate internally so you can up the boost pressure. Sometimes if it's real low boost, it's just a matter of a worn out turbocharger. And we do have turbo
turbocharger overhaul kits on my website along with instructions so you can take that turbocharger off and rebuild it yourself. But for the case of this 300 TD wagon, you know, I can put this away. It's producing adequate boost. Uh, the turbocharger is not going to be the problem. It's going to be something else. And now I'm getting really suspicious because the turbocharger is producing boost, but the engine is acting like it's not getting any boost. And of course, it's smoking at the same time. So I've got issues here that I'm going to go after, particularly the EG valve and what is called the overboost protection circuit, which if that's malfunctioning can also create issues with lack of power or poor performance or smoking engines or poor fuel economy. So we're done with the turbocharger test and now I can carry on to the next phase, to the next video in this series.